You know, on March 4th of 2020, Abbott Laboratories was awarded a federal grant. On that same day, John Curtis purchased stock in that company. This is the problem in Congress. At a time when somebody should be looking out for their constituents, they end up looking out for their own profit. That's why I've signed a contract with Utah. I want to ban the trading of individual stocks for members of Congress and their families. I want to also stop members of Congress from retiring and becoming lobbyists and enriching themselves further. This is the problem that we have. And you know what? I've stood up to the establishment time and time again. I've done it throughout my entire career as I challenged Mitt Romney, willing to primary him in this election. I've now received the endorsements of so many national conservatives to include Senator Rand Paul and also President Trump. I have that coalition of people I can go back and work with day one that will go ahead and represent Utah and further its interests more than anybody else here on this stage. We will have to wrap it up on that note. I'm sorry yeah, you we are out of time. Respond to that. Real quick, as fast as possible. Yeah, Trent, that is such a little shot. You wait till I have no response. You throw something out I can't respond to. You've accused me of a felony here tonight. You better have very good evidence, and I'd like to challenge you to produce that evidence that somehow I've committed hey. a felony. And if that's how you're going to work in Senate, the people of Utah would be very disappointed. Gentlemen, we are out of time. Congressman, you had quite a few attacks lobbed your way during this debate. Which ones would you like to address right now? <laughs> hmm, let's see. Um, well, they didn't attack the way I tuck in my shirt. That's been done before. Um, listen, I, um, I thought really the one that was the elephant in the room was uh, very unfortunate um, a tactic of, of Mr. Staggs, who clearly waited until there was no rebuttal to throw something at me that, of course, had no foundation, that uh, was a cheap shot. And I think the thing that's unfortunate about it is, is Mr. Staggs, his, his whole campaign is about, you know, the dirtiness of Washington and how he's going to go fix that. And I think he really showed his hand, right? I mean, that's what people hate about Washington. Let's be straight up. If you feel that way, let's say it. But don't do not do what you did. And, and to me, I feel like Utahns got a really good look into what they would get if he was their senator. And I don't think that's what they want.